single colony streaking using aseptic sterile technique. Single colony streaking means taking a sample from a suspension of bacteria, adding it to an agar plate and spreading it across the plate so thinly that individual bacteria are separated out from each other. Each successive streaking step dilutes the bacteria further until, at the final step, individual bacteria cells are separated out on the agar. When the bacteria are allowed to grow overnight, each individual bacterium will give rise to a visible colony. The bacteria within each colony are genetically identical to one another because they are all clones of a single bacterium. To perform any protocol involving bacteria, it is first necessary to create a sterile working environment. Clear non-essential items from the bench area. Swab the surface of the bench with ethanol to kill microorganisms. Dry off the ethanol with tissue. When your area is clean, a demonstrator will light your Bunsen burner. The hot air above the flame will rise, creating an updraft that prevents particulate matter from landing next to the Bunsen burner. Therefore, the area immediately around the Bunsen is protected from microorganisms in the air. If you keep all your equipment close to the Bunsen throughout the protocol and you work slowly and carefully, the equipment should remain sterile. When the collar of the Bunsen burner is shut, the flame is orange. This is the least hot type of flame and is very easily visible. Keep the flame like this when you are not actively using the Bunsen. The bright orange flame will ensure that nobody accidentally stretches their arm across the Bunsen and gets burnt. When you are ready to use the Bunsen, open the collar to allow atmospheric oxygen to mix with the gas. The flame will turn blue. This is a very hot flame, but it is relatively difficult to see. Make sure you have the minifuge tube containing the bacterial suspension, a sterile agar plate and an inoculation loop. Pick up the loop and insert the handle end of the loop into the hottest part of the flame, which is the tip of the blue cone. The metal will soon become red hot. Slowly move the loop through the flame so that each part of the loop becomes red hot for a few seconds. Now the loop is sterile. Do not place it down on the bench or wave it around, or you will have to sterilize it again. With your other hand, pick up the minifuge tube. Open the lid with your thumb and holding the tube at its base. Briefly bring the tube close to the flame, as shown, without burning yourself. The updraft will remove contamination from the neck region of the tube. Do not allow the plastic to melt. Touch the wire loop against the top of the inside of the tube for a few seconds to cool it. If it is too hot, it will kill the bacteria. Now dip the loop into the bacterial suspension. Close the minifuge tube and put it down. With your free hand, pick up the agar plate, which will be upside down on the bench. Rub the loop across a small region of agar near the side of the plate to transfer the bacteria onto the agar. Now, without putting the plate down, flame the loop again. Do this slowly or bacteria will be sprayed into the air. Having sterilised the loop, dip it into a clean part of the agar plate to allow it to cool. Now streak the loop out from the patch of bacteria in four straight lines. Just drag the loop gently across the surface of the agar. Do not create deep indentations. Flame the loop again.
cool it in the agar as before. Turn the agar plate about a quarter of a turn. Streak the loop out from the previous streaks in four straight lines again. Again, flame the loop. Cool it in the agar as before. Turn the agar plate again. Streak as before. Repeat this procedure once more. This time streak towards the centre of the plate. Flame the loop again to sterilise it. And let it cool before placing it down on the bench. Put the agar plate back in its lid. Label the underside and keep the plate upside down to prevent condensation forming on the lid. The plates will be incubated at 37 degrees overnight. When you are completely finished, turn off the Bunsen burner. Never leave a lit Bunsen unattended. If you have streaked the plate correctly, each successive streaking step dilutes bacteria further until, at the final step, individual bacterial cells are separated out on the agar from which single pure colonies will arise.